We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. And her family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice beautiful day? Today we're making a simple homemade peach cobbler, y'all. Yes, a simple homemade peach cobbler. And here are our ingredients. Okay, here I have some pie crust, butter, sugar, salt, cornstarch, ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, and sliced peaches. Okay, y'all, let's get to making our homemade peach cobbler. Okay, here I'm getting ready to prepare my peaches. I'm using two large cans of peaches. And here I'm adding some butter. I'm gonna add that whole stick of butter cause I'm making a big cobbler. Now I'm adding my sugar. I'm gonna use maybe a half a cup. I'm gonna start out with a half a cup and then I'm gonna taste it after it start uh, boiling to make sure all my ingredients taste right, you know. Okay, here I'm adding some nutmeg. And some cinnamon. Okay. Make sure these ingredients is well incorporated. As soon as my mixture start boiling, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, y'all, as y'all can see, my peaches has began to boil. What you do is you always taste your, your filling. You always taste your, your mixture to see if it's right. If it tastes like peach cobbler, it gonna, it gonna end up like peach cobbler. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Because if it tastes like, it gonna taste exactly like the peach cobbler gonna taste, okay? So you make sure all your seasoning, you got enough sugar in it, you got enough of your spices in it, and butter and everything, you're gonna taste it in this filling, okay? So you make sure the filling tastes okay, okay? I'm gonna taste mine. Yes, it tastes good. This is the way I want it to taste. Okay, and so, like if you want your pie thicker okay here I have like a tablespoon of of cornstarch and maybe a tablespoon of water and I have mixed this together make sure you get all the clumps out we don't want any clumps in our mixture okay I'm going to pour this in there This is going to make our um, filling slightly thick, okay? Not a whole lot. It's going to slightly thicken up our peach filling. Okay. 
Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let this continue to boil on like it's doing. It's just like a medium boil. I'm going to let that continue to boil until my peaches uh, get tenderized just a little bit, okay? Some people like theirs just the way they are, but I let mine cook for a while, and I'm going to let you know exactly how long to cook it, okay? I'm going to be right back. Okay, now I'm preparing my pan for my filling. Okay, I'm, what I'm doing, I'm going to spray this with a little, just, you don't have to spray it a lot. Just a little bit. This is optional. You don't have to do this. But what I'm doing, I'm preparing my pan. I'm going to add, I'm going to use two pie crusts, y'all, for the bottom. Now I'm adding my other one. We want lots of pie crust. That's the way I like mine, but this is optional. If you only want one, you can. But I love the pie crust. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for like 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna Take it back out, and then we're going to put our filling in, okay? I'm back. I'm going to talk about the filling a little bit more. I end up putting the other half a cup of sugar in my peaches because after they cooked for a while, they became a little, this filling became a little more tart. And so I wanted to be, have, I wanted to have a more sweeter taste. So I added the other half a cup of sugar. So some people, when this, it all depends on the canned peaches. Some of them doesn't have the tart taste to them. So that's why some people use the lemon juice to make it a little bit more tartar. I don't need it. Oh, I did add the other half a cup of sugar, just letting you know. And um, so I'm going to be back as soon as these peaches get to the desired texture that I'm looking for. Okay, y'all, the... the Pie crust is ready. Okay, I left it in there for like 12 minutes in the oven. And so now what I'm gonna do, my peaches, as y'all can see my peaches have been cooking and they are ready to be placed. Here I'm placing my mixture, my peaches in my pie crust, on my pie crust. Y'all, I like a lot of of the filling, the juice. So I'm going to keep, I, I, that's why I kept all that juice in there because I want it to go all through the pie crust, okay? Okay, here, I'm going to place my pie crust on top of here, y'all. We're going to place it here on top, just like this, okay? this okay. because that's why I left all that juice in that uh, from my peaches because I love the juice from the peaches I just love it okay just lay it there on top and if you want to put some holes in it Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna rub some butter on top, y'all. Okay, here I have some cinnamon and sugar. I'm going to sprinkle on top. Now I'm going to place it in a 375 degree oven 
And I'm going to tell y'all exactly how long I left it in there, okay? Because I don't want to give y'all the wrong uh, time, okay? So I'm going to be back with the final result. Okay, y'all, I am back. Here's my peach cobbler. I'm going to let this sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. Just let it sit there. I'm going to bowl some up, and I'm going to let y'all see exactly how it looks, okay? You know I got to get my ice cream, so that's what I'm going to get, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back. I'm getting ready to, to bowl up me some of this peach cobbler. Y'all see how it look? Look, y'all. See, I like all that juice in there. I, I love mine with that juice. Let's find us some more peaches. Okay. Okay, y'all, here we go. Here's our homemade peach cobbler. Peach cobbler isn't peach cobbler without either ice cream or whipped topping. Okay. I'm gonna add a little vanilla ice cream to that, okay? Okay, y'all, here we go. Here it is. Our homemade, a simple homemade peach cobbler. This isn't the one with the, the, the crust, you know, the homemade crust. I have a recipe. I have a video with crust, me making the crust, but not on this one. This is a more simple recipe, okay? Well, okay, y'all. Like always, I'm going to say, y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit.